Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having completely amazing days and today's video is, and I'm sorry, um, it's so lengthy and I tried to cut it down as much as I could, but it's lengthier than my usual videos I upload and it's also probably up like a few days late. <laughs> I've sucked at being a YouTube artist and Instagram person these last couple weeks and I'll get into why a little bit later in the video, but I'm sorry it's lengthier and it's up a little bit later than usual. This painting was definitely a process, to say the least, and it took a very long time. Um, and I started it a couple months ago, and I expected this painting to take me like, oh, I'll just spend like a week or two weeks on it and work on it like every night and try to get it done. It's no big deal. I got this, whatever. I'll start it. It's big. I like it. It'll be cool. And then three months later, I'm like crying over my canvas. <laughs> Not really, but like in my mind, I'm like falling apart. And I swear, I, I'm like, I'm impatient when I come start. And I'm going to get rambly, but only for a second. And then I'll kind of get back on track. But I'm so impatient when it comes to my oil paintings and acrylic paintings that I don't plan it out very well. And I start off, and I think this kind of messed me up from the very beginning, but I started off with a painting, I had a completely different idea than what it ended up being, and I did a really crappy underpainting, and I rushed it, and I didn't really spend that much time on it. I didn't plan it out any, I didn't plan the colors, I kind of just went into it, and that lack of planning always comes back and bites me in the ass. <laughs> like, I'm always like, let's just get into this painting, this is going to be awesome, I'm going to know exactly what to do, and where to put the colors, and how to blend stuff and where the shadows need to go so I just do a quick underpainting just to get the basic shapes down and I need to work more on doing actual like detailed underpaintings because I feel like that would really help my art especially since it's been so stressful lately <laughs> and when I finished this piece well actually it's not finished <laughs> it's not even freaking finished after so many hours of working on it but like um after I got to that point where I can upload the video and I was like, okay, it's basically done. There's a few more details I need to do, but like, it's all good. It's done. It was such a relief and I'm so happy with how it turned out, which is amazing, but I'm so upset with how long it took. I am like, that's one of the things I need to work on really is to get faster at painting and doing art. That still looks amazing. Um, as well as, you know, being more consistent on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but I'm working on it and I promise I will get better. And again, I am so happy with how this turned out, even though it took so long. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, I don't really have a specific name for it. I'll probably name it at the very last second before I upload this video. And again, at the moment, it is not finished. So, like, I think I'll just take a photo of it and finish it digitally, just to give you guys an idea of what I want it to look like when it's done. But I still have one last layer of final white highlight to do. And I want to paint a snail on her. I really want to paint a snail. So I'm going to paint a snail. <laughs> oh my god. And add some white highlights and stuff. But, you know, I am so happy with how it turned out. I keep saying that, but I am. And um, this piece was an original acrylic and oil painting on canvas. I am not sure of the size of the canvas. It was pretty freaking big. It was like 24 by 30 something or 16 by 24 or 16 by 20. It was something like that. Um, I'll put all the materials I used down in the description box below. I also used a mixture of paint brands. I'm usually not super picky when it comes to what brand I'm using. I kind of just kind of wait for sales at Michael's or Jerry's Artorama and kind of just get whatever is on sale. Um, but for this one in particular, I used Gamblin and Windsor and Newton oil colors for sure. And then I used um, Gamblin's Galkid Medium and Gamzol to thin out the oil paint. And then as for the acrylic paints I used, um, I kind of just got whatever was, again, the cheapest. So like Artist Loft paint I love, Liquitex Basics, stuff like that I used for this painting as well. And I also used this really awesome metallic gold um, acrylic Liquitex Basics paint, which I recommend 100% because I've always been obsessed with adding like sparkly details in my art and I could never do that with acrylic or oil paintings because there was no metallic like paint I was using and I didn't know it existed and it does exist and I am now 
addicted, completely addicted. So I am going to be doing a lot more like gold detailed paintings from now on. And um, I totally recommend all of those materials. They're all pretty reputable and they're all really awesome. So again, I will put them all in the description box for you guys to check out. <laughs> And as for the theme of this piece, it's pretty similar to like the rest of my art. Like I don't really go into crazy heavy themes with art. I just like painting what I like and I like painting elves and stuff. So she started off as this creepy like forest three-eyed creature thing. And um, then she evolved into this like neon and magical fairy character. And another thing that this painting did a lot was change. And I swear it probably changed like majorly changed like five times and so many of the times I didn't even put in the video because it was repetitive and dumb but like she started off with like forest behind her and it was very like brown colored kind of and very like dull and pastel almost and then she became like this floral goddess and then I replaced all the flowers with leaves and like I don't know it was just it took so long I'm still like in shock guys I swear I need to get better at being faster. <laughs> oh my god. And, um, sorry if this voiceover is shitty. I'm like, this is a lengthy video. Like, this is 14 minutes, and I usually don't film 14 minute videos. Um, but then also a little bit about the process. I started off again with a really stupid rushed oil painting, underpainting, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did a watered down or thinned down a mixture of oil paint and Gamzol to do a quick underpainting at the very beginning. And then I went straight on top of that with oils, which I kind of usually do but for this painting in particular I really blended the oil and acrylic medium which I know is kind of like not really like a good thing to do <laughs> it's kind of like frowned upon I believe um, but I really let all my layers dry before I switched mediums and I know I did the underpainting in oils and then I kind of just again just used whatever medium kind of catered to what I was doing so if it was like the background and I wanted it to dry fast I would use acrylics and if it was like the face and I wanted it to be smooth I would use oil so it kind of just depended on what I was working on at that time when I was using the medium and again it took countless hours um, I don't know if I already said this in the voiceover if I did I will cut it out but um, just to put it into your perspective, this video is 14 minutes long, okay? And I sped it up by at least 5,000 on my editing software. Um, so, it was sped up by 14,000, and I filmed about half of the process. However, the process that went into the editing software was only about half of what I actually filmed. Because a lot of what I filmed was extra kind of repetitive details that you guys didn't really need to like see to make the video like it would make the video long and boring and um 
So you really only saw about one fourth of the entire process because I didn't film half of it because again it was repetitive and stuff like that. So sped up by fourteen, sped up by five thousand, is fourteen minutes, and it's only about one fourth. So if I would have filmed the whole thing, it would have been probably almost like an hour, which is crazy sped up by five thousand. No, that's not right. I don't know. <laughs> Ignore me. I don't know what I'm trying to prove, but it took so freaking long. I swear that's what this voiceover is. It's just me saying how long it is and then dying on the inside about how long it was. But um back to something that's actually like important. Um so this week was my second week of high school and I am a senior in high school, so it's pretty stressful. I'm kind of at the very last stage until I graduate and move on. Um, I'm planning on going to art school, and at the moment, I already have things happening that are hopefully going to help me get into art school and not have it be, like, insanely expensive. But since it was, like, my second week of high school officially, um, I'm finally starting to kind of get in the swing of things, but the first week was super hectic, which is another reason why I was not posting that much on Instagram or YouTube. Um, but since I'm kind of now used to it, um, I should be better to get one or two videos up every week comfortably without rushing or having a sucky video up. Um, I'm for sure going to upload an oil painting basics or tutorial, um, either next week or this week. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And, um, I think that is pretty much all I have to say about the artwork. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Oh, and, um, also, if any of you play PlayStation... Um, I play, I'm going to start playing Destiny 2, but then I'm also playing, like, Overwatch and stuff like that. If you have a PlayStation, feel free to add me. I will put all of, like, that stuff down below as well. But I would love to play with some of you guys if you guys have PlayStation. And, um, also, really quick, if you guys have any questions for me at all, um, don't be shy and please leave them down below. I love talking to you guys, of course, so please leave a comment if you are curious about anything. And I think it, that is pretty much, again, all I have to say about the artwork. Um, I hope you had a really awesome week and you didn't, like, hate the last couple videos. <laughs> um, and I will see you all in a future video. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so freaking much for watching. And I will see you all in a next, in a future video. Bye, guys.